Their cosmic energy is the air we breathe in. So they discover that just breathing into the nose alone is don't work that way. So they discover that the energy can absorb very much better to uh, other different energy center. Okay? Like the mid eyebrow, the palm, later on the skin, later on the bone. Okay? And that, that definitely is much bigger than the nose. And uh, so the qigong, the purpose of the qigong is you feel the energy, you use your mind, use your eye, open yourself to absorb the energy into you. When you understand this one, you get the essence of the qigong. You get the essence of the meditations. You get the essence of the spiritual work. That's it. You have it. The essence of it. The meditation, the worshipping, the qigong, the tai chi. They are the same. You worship, you pray, you meditate, you do qigong, you do tai chi, or whatever you do. It's in wild it that you can open yourself to absorb the energy. How much can you take in? And that is important. Okay? Now, in the, um, in the cosmic qigong, the cosmic, uh, cosmic uh, energy is involved with first the air we breathe now, immediately. Okay? Definitely, if you go to a nice, nicer place, there, right? Top of the mountain, the lake, the oceans. The essence is much better. Even you don't know what is, what is that. You just be there. Just being there make a difference already. You feel sick, you feel tired, you go there to the woods, standing, sitting there, laying there, do nothing. You feel good. A few days, ah, let's go and fight the world again. <laughs> right? <laughs> and we go back again. And we exhaust that, we go back again. So the first step, we are in a nice place. We learn to feel different essence. The next step you're going to train is, you are there, you practice, you feel the energy, and you make a connections. You make a connections. Once you can make the connections, very easy. You can be away for 10,000 miles. It does not matter. You close your mind, picture the beautiful lakes, the mountain, uh, the forest, and you sit in the middle. Picture them and lightly inhale, lightly contract your eye, your anus. And breathe deep, slow and deep. Suddenly, you actually make connection with that place. It really connections, a real connection. And you inhale, you lightly suck and draw and exhale the energy in the outer you. And you really make connection with the energy. Like I look at a tree, I smile at a tree. I inhale, my eye lightly dim, my sexual organ lightly pull up. Inhale, I feel actually I taking the essence of it into me. Okay. The essence in those universe is so abundant; nobody can use them all. That's it. The whole problem is that There's so much. The only thing we are we are limit ourselves to use that energy. We limit ourselves because we cannot open ourselves and we live it ourselves. That's it. Another one is very important is the saliva. Saliva have a very strong magnetism 
especially when you beat the slab a little bit. And when you close your mouth and you feel you breathe in the essence into the mouth, feel you breathe the essence into your mouth, a golden essence in your mouth. So the golden essence will mix in with the saliva and it change it to be a golden elixir. The golden elixir. Uh, one thing about breathing the essence into the mouth is very, very important. Very important. Because the main crew is there. In the later on, when you learn to practice with the moon, with the sun, with anything, the mouth is so important, taking the essence. Your eye, your mouth, your saliva. You breathe the essence into your mouth, you actually feel it. You actually, for me, I actually can test it in my mouth. I can test it in my mouth. Like, I look at the moon, inhale, I actually taking the essence of the moon into me, and the mouth is just gradually feel a full saliva is like life, like life. You have power to attract the essence, especially the ionized and electron. You no, know? so you the secret is mine. Okay, secret is mine. Okay, you look at it. You close your mouth. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Your mouth is closed. When your mouth is closed, you actually feel them into your mouth. Feel it into your mouth. And the taste is different. The more you do, the taste is so different. And eventually, what we call by the nectar. There are two things that in the Taoism we call the fountain of life. One is sexual energy and the saliva. If you know how to return your sexual energy up, and circle them and coming down like a nectar. You don't get thirsty here and you're not thirsty for sex anymore. Actually, when the saliva activate, the sexual energy come up also activate. Very fragrant, very sweet, and it swallow down. First, you learn how to take in, get in touch with yourself. Second, you learn how to train your mind and eye power. Third, you learn how to activate your original energy. Once the original energy established, you can make a link to very far away. Okay? And this original energy like suction have a power to draw in and suck and remain and transform it. The cosmic energy, the first time we activate is in the mid eyebrow and the palm. And a golden light color. A golden light color. Okay? And the golden color is also very good to develop like aura, <coughs> cover us. This is the three tan tian that we're working. When we work with the cosmic energy, we actually work with the mid middle of the brain, the middle of the brain. We also call it crystal room. Right in the center of the brain, okay? Right in the center of the brain here. Right in the center here, there's a room. Some uh, in the Western we call it a third vertical room. Third vertical room. It like prism, like uh, actually it's a cent central processing. All the information come in here and transmit it out, in and out, or come in and transmit into the brain. So it's central. It's a central transmission right here. We call it third vertical room. It like prism, like a, a crystal. That can be refracting energy. So we're going to draw the energy down, down to the coccyx, and, and let the golden light start it to come into the coccyx and rises up the spine, and exhale out any cloudy and gray color. So you continue in to draw in the golden light. It works very closely with the marrow and the spine. When you find the energy up the spine, you gradually let it expanding like column, like column out of the body, out, 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 and gradually expanding it like a ball, like oval ball, oval gold ball.
So the first thing we're going to be start with lighting can your teeth. Light it, can your teeth light it. I make it too loud, but you no need to. Especially if you have a lot of feeling, you have to light it, knock. Light it, knock, and can hard. This is strengthening your gum and activate all the glands and the brain. The breath is very important. Breathe deep, high, slow. It's very important. Feel you activate the pituitary gland. Gradually feel your mid eyebrow have a tunnel go right into your mid, the middle of the brain. You can lightly tap it and lightly spiral also. When you feel this place is loosened and activate, raise your hand up. Now, in this part, it's very important that you can recall a beautiful place that you have. A lake, a mountain, an ocean, a sunset, a place that you like so much. You inhale, lightly contract your eye, and exhale, feel you connecting with this place. Inhale. Lightly contract your eye. Feel you draw the essence of the place come to you. And exhale. Very, interest, uh, very important is your nostril lightly contract in here. Inhale. Here, nost nostrils here also contract a little bit. And, uh, and the top here on the bridge of the nose also lightly contract. And you actually feel you actually draw and sucking, have a suction of the energy. Beat the slow a little bit. And when you close your mouth and you feel you breathe in the essence into the mouth, feel you breathe the essence into your mouth, a golden essence in your mouth. So the golden essence will mix in with the saliva and it change it to be a golden elixir. The golden elixir. And you swallow it down to the hand, swallow it down to the coccyx. Inhale, let it rise up the spine, up to the crown. Exhale out, cloudy and gray color. Inhale again, mid eyebrow, your saliva. Gradually feel the golden light coming down to your spine, to your coccyx, and rises up to your spine. And gradually expand and expand to be a chi ball, to a chi ball around and cover you. You can put your hand, just make a circle, a few circle, and feel it around you. Inhale. Expand from your spine. From your whole spine, expand it light. A chi ball around you, circling like an oval or like an egg. Surround you. Feel you sitting on a golden ball, golden shield, protecting you and energize you. Feel you are so secure and so protected inside. Gradually aware your mid eyebrow. You can when you sometimes when you finish you should condense the chi ball that grow you into the mid eyebrow. But when you need it, you can just recall them and boom, it cover you again. Okay. But in later on when you practice it well, the chi ball is always cover you, the golden chi ball. It always covering you. Feel the original force in the navel area and the golden light in the mid eyebrow. Once you establish the original force, 
you will automatically be connecting with the higher self. Smile and be aware 6 to 12 feet above your head. You might feel a force or a light above you. Simply let the force or light take form. It can be of any form or color. Let that form gradually touch you. Feel you have a close connection to it. The place that it touches might open and you can accept the higher self energy into your body and let it merge with the original force there. The place that the higher self touches will serve as a close connecting link between you and your higher self. It has always been with us since birth, but we are not aware of it. Your higher self can give you advice, protection, and guidance in your life. What you have just been watching is Volume 2 of a four-part series. Much of the rich detail and important energy work of the microcosmic orbit meditation could not be included on a single tape. This four-part series of Awaken Healing Light Meditations has been designed to give you access to Master Chia's complete teachings of the microcosmic orbit. In Volume 3 of the Awaken Healing Light series, Master Chia discusses the microcosmic orbit not just in terms of physical health, but as a practice for spiritual cultivation. He then shows us how to more fully open the front channel of the microcosmic orbit. He talks about the nature of heaven force energy and about our relationship to the stars and planets, especially the North Star and the Big Dipper constellation. He then shows step by step how to access these energies and bring them into the microcosmic orbit. In this third tape, he shows how to work with the spine to further open the back channel of the orbit. He shows practices to connect the back channel with the front channel and to circulate the combined energies in the microcosmic orbit. He also shows a brief chi massage for cooling and centering the body after meditation. Volume 4 is the final tape in the Awaken Healing Light series. This tape is a half-hour guided microcosmic orbit meditation in which Master Chia leads you through all of the practices detailed on the first three tapes of the series. This tape is not instructional. It brings together all of the short guided meditations experienced on volumes 1, 2, and 3 of the series. This tape is essential for incorporating all of the stages of the microcosmic orbit training into one easy-to-practice meditation.